Hello, fabulous Sagittarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of March 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have a very active, very fabulous sky, an important sky at that with big moves set to take place. And I'm going to start with Saturn right around the 22nd of this month, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet. Saturn will officially change signs. Now this is actually just a taste. Saturn is going to dip into the sign of Aquarius and will be here until July 1st before he retrogrades back to where he's been for over two years now. And then it will be in December that Saturn will more comfortably move into this part of the sky, this brand new sign, right into 2023. Now what makes this that much more an important time is that it isn't just Saturn, but at the very end of the month, Mars and Saturn will meet in the sky. These two planets do get together once every two years. And when they do, it represents some shift, some change, some clarity, but also some power. Sometimes power is found with what is gained, but sometimes it's also about allowing closures to take place. Honesty is a great source of power as well. Now for you, this is taking place in a part of the sky that has to do with mind, communication, how you think about things, how you perceive things. Your relationship with your siblings, cousins, and neighbors is covered here as well. And so you're about to get more honest as to how it is you're using language, how it is you desire to use language, what it is that you have to communicate, what it is that you have to say, what vehicle are you going to use to say it? And of course, get more honest in your relationships with your siblings, cousins, and neighbors as well. Now, there will be Saturn special horoscopes as I've had Saturn special horoscopes for all the years that I have been here. And so be on the lookout for that in the first part of March where I'll dive in with a lot more detail. And of course, I'll be here to talk about it every step of the way. But I wanted to mention this now because I do think that this is one of the more important moments, not just of this month and not even just of this year, but in the larger context, when we look at this decade, it is going to be in some ways this month that sets the stage that starts to make you aware of some of the larger themes set to show up for you. Not only are Mars and Saturn going to meet at zero degrees, the very beginning of the sign of Aquarius, very beginning of this brand new part of the sky for you. But this is where in December, Jupiter and Saturn will meet. You will see what transpires now very differently once you get to that place. And of course, it is going to be 2023, 2024, that Pluto is going to move over this very point as well. So we've got big, beautiful things taking place and it is now that it begins. But we have lots of other things happening as well, including important lunar events right around the 9th of the month. Well, that is when we are going to have a full moon. This full moon is happening at the very top of your sky, having to do with career, social standing, and life purpose. There are going to be beautiful alignments to this full moon, to Pluto and to Jupiter. I feel like this really is a powerful moment for you, uh, really a shining moment for you as well. There may be some accolades that find you at this time. If it is that you do get some sort of an interview or audition situation, or even promotion situation, it looks like you certainly are doing extremely well. But keep in mind a couple of things. One is Neptune is standing across the sky from this full moon. And what that means is that there may be a lack of clarity. Now this is further affirmed by the fact that Mercury is retrograde at this time. And so all may not be as it seems, there might be some key details that are being overlooked and yet for all that, you are feeling very much in your power and in your gratitude as well. I do think that if there is some move, some step that you are wanting to take, you absolutely can work with this energy, but keeping in mind that there's also value in surrender in letting things be what they need to be. And if it is that you do end up securing some new opportunity, well, it is also going to involve 
realizing what has to go or where it is that space needs to be there so that you can fully embrace this opportunity. And that may very well be part of uh, some of the energy of Neptune, some of the energy of things being in flux and flow at this time. As we navigate late into the month, right around the 24th is when we are going to have this month's new moon. Now this new moon is taking place in fellow fire sign Aries. It is speaking in harmony with Saturn. So I love that energy in and of itself because it says there's stability, there's long-term gain that is possible now. There's motivation to move towards a bigger picture and understanding of intelligent sacrifices. At the same time though, this is a fun part of the sky. Yes, it has to do with joy and enjoying your life. It is also connected to children you have and children that you may want. It's connected to creative endeavors as well. And so it looks like you're getting serious at this time to move yourself in the direction you desire. This is the beginning. And thankfully it looks like a stable beginning at that. That's going to allow you to feel like you are building towards a solid future of success. Now getting information, key conversations may very well be part of helping you to move forward. But this part of the sky is also connected to romance and flirtation. And so where it comes to matters of love, I do think that this new moon is going to be super helpful in that regard. Now keep in mind, Chiron isn't too far away from this new moon as well. So vulnerabilities may be there, but you are thinking long term. And at the same time, you're being encouraged to be in the moment, to enjoy yourself. So if you're open to meeting someone new, that absolutely could happen at this time, especially when I look at that beautiful energy playing out at this new moon. I do want to add Venus is going to be on the move right around the 5th of the month, changing signs, moving into a daily part of your sky. And what that tells me is office romances may surprise you. They may delight you. They may intrigue you. That may be an option. At the same time, though, you are getting your flirt on in the second part of the month, thanks to this new moon. And it seems to be a healing and stabilizing endeavor. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, I do think that energy of the new moon is going to help you to understand if there is long-term potential here to be honest with yourself yes but also to commit to the journey of getting to know this person better if it feels like there is that potential there this is where you're going to commit to the journey moving forward but if it feels like there isn't that here this is where you will make a decision to go in a different direction and for those of you in an established bond what a powerful time as well. The heart chakra is opening to each other, right? Heart level connections seem to be expanding at this time. I also think there is a sense now of wanting to truly be in each other's company, enjoy each other's company that much more. It may take some planning. Like for example, you may have to actually plan date night and commit to it, but it will be rewarded. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's a lot here, but I think that move of Saturn is very powerful, of course. I love the sense of success and achievement that is with you, with this beautiful full moon that is set to take place as well. And I love the sense that you are moving yourself and moving your life in a direction that feels stronger than you've known it to be before. It is now that you may find yourself transforming and changing and making some effort, some power move. And that may very well lead you to a greater understanding of self and of your own mind processes. There's power in both spaces in that outward achievement, but also in observing the self to ensure that you think the way that you deserve to think about you, which is, in your absolute best. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week, which is probably a good idea with a month like this. There is so much happening astrologically. We've got some packed and busy astrological weeks. I'm looking forward to diving in for each and every sign at NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more, all of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.